Simon Taylor. Um, he is a world-renowned artist and a designer, and we're gonna get his feedback on our project, but also hear about his artistic practice and experience uh, starting tomato. The meeting with Simon Taylor was incredibly exciting. He started off giving us like a little presentation on his background and his experience just overall with like kind of brand development design and like immersive designs, um, installations, but then he talked more specifically about his experience with like fashion and clothing design. He seemed to be really receptive with what we were trying to do and gave us a lot of great pointers about the fashion industry and how to mix business with design in a cohesive way that's beneficial to our project. It was really nice to be speaking to somebody who was more of like a veteran in the industry, somebody who had been doing it for 10 years. It was nice to get his perspective on things and it was sort of that feeling when you leave and you just feel like he gets it, like he totally got the vision. It has been absolutely amazing walking around the town. The entire place right up around where we're staying is covered in so much history. Uh, I got to learn about Bristol Blue Glass and where it gets blown and that it was originally made in 1700 here in Bristol. Um, and seeing all of the art as well. Apparently Banksy is from here and that makes this a very prominent uh, graffiti area. We're at the University of West England and we're going to the Future Textiles Conference. segment of the textiles conference and what are we thinking so far? Uh, super cool. A lot of it goes over my head but like in a way <laughs> that makes me really excited to learn more. Yeah so far we've looked at projects that involved mixing graphing or graphene into textiles, new material for it, uh, creating this sort of like bending Battery, battery, battery yeah. kind of thing, so you could have flexible batteries inside clothing. Uh, and then what was the last one again? It was about um, dissolving cellulose fibers for, for textiles. just had a lot of opportunity like I loved seeing all of the museums and being immersed in all of their work was just so great I loved it all 
A lot of the times, I feel like places get overly hyped or over-exaggerated in how great they are, but Paris was not one of those. It was like everything and more. The Louvre was absolutely amazing. It was so surreal just being able to stand in it. And it was also cool because Zandro was actually wearing one of the jumpsuits. So technically we debuted in the Louvre. Stunning. This whole trip has honestly been like a dream. I never thought I would be able to get an experience like this, and especially not with a team that is as great as the one that I'm with. So many of the moments were just so surreal, and I know we're going to be able to take so many great experiences and ideas from this trip and hopefully make something amazing with them. Can't wait to see what's next. <laughs>